This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 4 verses 24 to 30. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. He answered, "I suppose you're going to quote the proverb, doctor go heal yourself." Do here in your hometown what we heard you did in Capernaum. Well, let me tell you something. No prophet is ever welcomed in his hometown. Isn't it a fact that there were many widows in Israel at the time of Elijah during the three and a half years of drought when famine devastated the land? But the only widow to whom Elijah was sent was in Sarepta in Sidon. And there were many lepers in Israel at the time of the prophet Elijah, but the only one cleansed was Naaman the Syrian. That set everyone in the meeting seething with anger. They threw him out, banishing him from the village. Then took him to a mountain cliff at the edge of the village to throw him to his doom. But he gave them the slip and was on his way. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 4 verses 24 to 30 What annoyed the assembly in Nazareth were the words of grace of Jesus and the villagers their village heads expelled Jesus from their village The term village in the gospels always had a negative connotation The village people remained close-minded attached to their traditions not wanting to change and resistant That's why when Mark narrates Jesus healing the deaf and dumb man in chapter 7 verse 31 Jesus took him away from the crowd to open his ears to help him to listen to something completely different and to help him to speak in a new way it was necessary to take him away from the noise of the crowd and when Jesus cured the blind man from Bethsaida in Mark chapter 8 verse 22 He repeated the same action taking him out of the town and helping him to see the world differently After healing him Jesus told him not to return to the village If you return to your old ways you return to your blindness Jesus and his message were rejected because people could not take criticism As announcers of the gospel If what happens to Jesus does not happen to us we should ask ourselves did i preach the authentic gospel or did i say what people desired to hear from me sometimes it is misunderstood that a capable evangelizer does not provoke does not disturb always says only what people like to hear and does things in a way that has always been done but the aim of an evangelizer is not to please people not to speak what people expect him to speak but to spread the word of Christ do we experience resistance to changing certain traditions that have little or nothing to do with faith in our church communities that is what people love to observe and practice that's why we come across some very virtuous catholics but reject Pope Francis' teachings and life as heretical. Jesus did not dilute his message to win sympathy in his hometown. The message of the gospel must be announced in its authenticity. It can be received or rejected, but not modified. One day, two bishops met. One of them worked in a place where Christians were persecuted and his colleague asked him, How do you live as a Christian in a place where you are persecuted? The bishop was a little pensive and then turned to his colleague and said, "What I do not understand is how you manage to live as a Christian without being persecuted." 